My mommy makes one of the best steamed mackerel fish choker and today I have the pleasure of sharing that with you. So let's get cooking. Preparation of this delicious fish choker, you know, one of my favorites. And because it's my mommy's birthday, I'm dedicating this recipe to her. So I love you, mom. Happy birthday to my beautiful mom, Debbie Bucks. And this was one of the recipes she used to prepare. Dal rice fry okra and some delicious mackerel fish choker and the way she used to do it she would buy the fresh mackerel and i'm so thankful she just came back from guyana and she hooked your girl up here with some nice fresh mackerel so here it is i went ahead wash up my mackerel you know wash it up really well i have a pot here with some water and i add a piece of lemon in here like half a lemon and what that does, it infuses the water and it gives the, the fish, you know, and the fish steam in it to give it a nice flavor. So I'm going to go ahead, salt this water and add my fish to it. So I'll bring you guys in closer so you can have like a good look in the pot. Cheers to my gorgeous mom. This is my mommy. Happy birthday, mom. Love you so much. I'm going to go in here with about a teaspoon of salt. I already have the lemon in there steaming, as you can see. I'm going to go in and drop my mackerel pieces into this and we're going to steam it. We're going to remove the flesh, take out the bone and then we're going to prepare it further. So join me. While in our step. fish is steaming, these are the other ingredients we will be using to prepare it. So I have here some nice tomato, onion, celery stock. I'm using some scallion. I'm using a mixture of sweet pepper, like one small um, sweet pepper but it's the orange and the red one they're tiny like this i have some garlic and of course i love mine it's fiery spicy like a me so i'm using some hot pepper you can eliminate this adjust the spice to your preference but believe me this do give it a nice kick and i have some dry season in here everything i'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience i am going to also add a piece of tamarind and i have to grab that tamarind as always i always forget something everything i'm using will be listed in the description box for so your after convenience. after steaming for eight minutes this is what our, my fish is looking like i am going to go ahead and drain this and i am going to run some cold water in it i'm going to clean some of that skin off of it and then i am going to go ahead and flake the fish from the bone i'm going to separate the flesh from the bone so, so see you ahead next. and drain the fish the hot water out of it i am going to go ahead now and run some cold water in this so you know it'll be easy for me to work with and as you can see as i'm you know running the cold water in this some of the that you know skin here is peeling off nicely but you don't have to take all of this you know off some people do it that way i just lightly scrape it off and you know I grab a knife and usually do that. It comes off very easily. See? Like that. Very easily. I lightly take some of that skin off. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and start clean this out. Take some of the skin off and flake this the fish. moment up. of truth. We already flake up the fish and it flake nice, nice. We're going to start preparing it as to fry it up with all our aromatics. And I can't wait to go in with my dal and my rice and my okra and lick my finger. So I already went ahead and prepared all that. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of everything in a my few. oil heating up. I'm going to go in with the fish first. That's right. The for this is I love when the fish, you know, gets a nice little sear to it. Fry it up a little bit. And, you know, whatever rankness that I didn't get rid of while steaming it. You see it's releasing some water here. I want that to burn out before I add the seasoning. I have most of that water burnt out. I am going to go in with my sour tamarind. That's right, use sour tamarind here and all my dry spices and start to season up this fish. Now we're really going up. to go ahead with more flavors in here and start adding our aromatics. So everything that I had chopped up on the cutting board, we're going to just dump them in here and let it start flavor up this delicious mackerel. So we're going to add it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and combine this and we're going to let this fry up really nice with all this delicious seasoning. And I have one more ingredient I want to add here. 
and that is some nice fresh squeezed lemon juice that is just going to take it over the top go in with some salt here and do taste it before you add salt you know um, salt is to, is to everyone taste and preference and I'm gonna add our lemon juice here lemon or lime juice is perfect what our mackerel is looking like as you can see it reduced significantly from the amount that I had initially and that is because I you know I fry everything down nicely and i love to fry it on dry and nice and let it get this nice rich color that's how i like mine but, you know you can um, take it off to your preference here but this thing is tasting so delicious so far i'm gonna give it a few minutes more and then i'm gonna pull it off the heat and of course play it up and make you guys shout the coolie by eat and this is our delicious mackerel choker look at it steam mackerel choker some okra dal and rice coolie by style so justin mm -hmm. you're supposed to go in with your fingers you know dal and rice to eat with fingers i don't like doing this come no sunny love you i watch how this picnic mess up my whole nice plating but oh, go in to mix it up so go in for a bite and let us hear tastes better mixed up yeah but you're supposed to try the thing by itself the fish by itself how are you gonna know if you like it but okay, anyways i'll take a little piece and try it Hold on. we're gonna switch you out and have ati go back to her thing you suck <laughs> It's really good it's really yeah. good what do you taste what what is the hint you you're getting oh god look how long i've got to wait for here with this picnic guys Sorry. oh mother lord <laughs> what is what are you tasting from the fish what hint like what like the seasoning like what 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 come true the most for you the flavor I don't really know how to describe it. It just tastes really good. So there you have Whatever. it, guys. There you have it. The picnic say it just tastes good, man. It's evil. Yeah. It I don't know how to describe the seasoning, but whatever you use, it tastes really good. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoy this dal and rice plates with okra. And the, the steam um, fish choker is lit. So if you never tried it, you have to try it. You don't have to use mackerel. You can use any fleshy fish and do this. So sending you our love, thanks, and gratitude. See you guys again soon with some delicious recipe. Bye.